Today we are going to talk about clinical audit. To start with, what is a clinical audit? Well, clinical audit is a quality improvement process that seeks to improve patient care through systematic review of the care that is being provided against the standards. Next comes to mind is, why is it so important to conduct a clinical audit? Well, a clinical audit helps minimizes or reducing errors against the patient care, improves the patient care, develops an openness to change environment in the institute and reduces the incidents and complaints that are there. Then there is one question which is usually asked, how is it different from the research? To answer that, I would just uh, say a few questions. A researcher asks, what is the new knowledge? While an auditor asks, are we achieving the standards that are given? A researcher aims to find out what is the best practice, while an auditor finds out are we achieving the care being given according to the best evidence practice? So, <clears throat> what can be audited? Well, as there is in any system, there are three components. One is input, another is process, and then there is outcome. So, in the same view, in an audit, there are three interrelated components. One is structure, second is process, and third is outcome. As is evident from the word itself, the structure leads uh, with deals with environment in which the care is provided, while the process deals with the way care is provided, and the outcome deals with the effect on the patient's health with the care you have provided. And uh, genuinely, everybody would agree that the resources and equipments are the audits that are done under the structure heading while the examples of audit done in the process part are incidences of laparoscopy versus laparotomy for a given procedure or incidence of normal delivery versus cesarean section or more commonly hand hygiene compliance. In the examples of outcome audits come pain relief after the post-operative pain management, visual equity after the operation of the cataract or DVT prophylaxis that is given. Finally, having knowing all this, let us see about life cycle of a clinical audit. So in a clinical audit, you start with choosing a topic, then you review the literature. The most important part which comes around is, you agree on the standards in which you are going to compare. Then you design the audit. Here all, you have to remember a few factors when you design your audit. While you design your audit, please remember the time constraints in which you will be working amongst, the financial constraints or the feasibility, the organizational culture and the staff support or the cognitive level of the staff you will be working with. As you have designed the audit, now you will definitely collect the data, you will analyze the data, you will prepare a report. Here comes the important part. Now you will compare your actual practice with the best practice. So that is known as feedback. Once you have seen that, now you will see what changes you need to implement. As you agree upon, you implement the changes. The changes can be as small as putting a signboard at a particular position in a hospital or in your ward or in your OPD or as big as providing the training to the faculty or the staff. Once you have implemented the changes, only in the area the deficit is there, you do re-audit. And once you do the re-audit, here comes the concluding part of your clinical audit cycle that you prepare the report. Well, once you prepare the report and submit it, it is an official record of the clinical audit that is done and it has to be presented verbally also. So I would just conclude here by saying that a clinical audit is an exercise which is going to bring about the best practices for the benefit of the institute and the patients as well.
Thank you.